Wow. You know, you uh, the, the you have some. Look at these nails on you. Yes. These no 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 no. On oh, your these head. nails. Yeah. I thought you meant the nails. No no nail no. Heads are those are those actual? Well, these are the acrylic coated. They're falses. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and the nails too. Yeah, no, but seriously. <laughs> Uh, but those are, uh, can you, can you work with those? Can you? Well, actually, I can. I've learned to do it. You know, I have a little short, fat hand, so, you know, when you have little negatives, you make positives out of them. So I've learned to button my clothes. Mm -hmm. and, can and you play button. guitar with those? Actually, I can, uh, because I have an open tuning that I use. Mm -hmm. What about I... the saxophone? Can you play the saxophone with <laughs> I wish. <laughs> nice to you see been? you. Oh, I've been good. You, you, uh, you look terrific. Well, thank and, you. And uh, upstairs earlier today, we were uh, discussing your weight. Now, <laughs> now, the last time I saw you, were you this weight or a different weight? I was a little skinnier then. I was trying to balance my weight because mm -hmm. I've, uh, you know, been doing this over a period of a few years. I got a little too skinny there for a while. Last time I saw you, I think I was down to about 100. Might have been a little too slight, you think? I guess. A lot of people thought so. I felt pretty good. But I'm, I weigh about 110, 111 now, and that's pretty good for my age, yeah. my height, and all that. Yeah. So. Well, and what was it? It's better than being a stack of bones. <laughs> Now, is that 110 without the phony nails? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Now, let me ask you a couple of questions, and okay. if you don't want to answer them, we won't answer them. What was the, the most you weighed? Can we answer, ask oh, that? Oh, I weighed over 150. 150? <laughs> yeah, about 150. Uh, I'm not telling you any more than that. Yeah. But I was a little heavier than and, that. And how tall a woman are you? I'm about 5'2", if I'm really standing up straight. Wow. So that was a haul. You were a little tubby. Just... I was a, more than a little tubby. You're absolutely right. And, and, and uh, but I, I don't remember you ever being... Uh, like a heavy person or somebody inclined to be overweight. How did, did this just creep up on you? Well, uh, yeah. It, I didn't actually have a weight problem when I was younger. And from when I was about 30 years old, I started to gain weight because I got lazy. I got on that bus, started eating nachos, stopping at every truck stop. Mm -hmm. I had some hey. health problems. And, <laughs> and I, I mean, I was just a hog. You're, talking, I mean, a, you're like... talking about touring now. It's not just something you were doing recreate, recreation. Oh. <laughs> With the band. Just a bad vacation uh, just, or something. Yeah, I just bought a bus so I could go eat. Yeah. Uh, and then it sneaked up on you and it you had to knock it off. On me. Yeah, now, did you do it sensibly, reduce the weight? It took me a long time. I've been on every diet in the world. I've done Atkins, I've done Scarsdale, I've fasted, I've done everything. But yeah. now I keep my weight down by eating small amounts. Uh -huh. And I eat pretty much Do you what exercise? I want. Not much. I'm yeah. lazy. What kind of exercise would you do if you were going to exercise? Do you run? Do you play golf? Do you? Uh... I can't run very well. I have a tendency to black my eyes. <laughs> but, uh... yeah. you said, you asked... Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, you said a tendency to blink your eyes. To black my to eyes. To blacken your eyes. Yeah, I would. I would think black so. Blacken black black my eyes. Okay. But uh. anyway, you. Uh, to be serious, uh, I do. Oh, yeah, let's get serious. Well, the bicycle's good. Bicycle and some floor good? exercises, yeah. but I don't do enough yeah. of it. Yeah, I'd like to see you sweaty. <laughs> uh, uh, well, what did you have in mind? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's, let's talk about... I think, okay. I think this, this is... Uh, I'm getting hooted now by the Are band. That's hooted? a bad sign. Don't hoot him. Don't hoot him. Uh, you're, you're, you're putting together your own band for the first mm -hmm. time in quite a while. Yeah, I've put together a new show with a group I call the Mighty Fine Band because mm -hmm. they're mighty fine. And I have leased some new buses so I can go eat again. I'll probably be fat again next year. But uh, I'm actually looking forward to it. I start a tour in uh, May, and I plan to work for Is this going to be well. one of those monster tours where you're on the road every night of no, the year? No, I'm going to work three and four days a week and mm -hmm. take off every fifth week. And I'm going to do it sensible because I'm, I don't have to kill myself anymore. I've no. been to that before, but I do enjoy traveling, and I have missed performing. I have missed the people, yeah. and we're going to open our our new show. We put together a show. Dollywood opens the 29th of April, uh, the theme park that you talked about, and this is our fourth year, and I'm going to be performing up there. What, what kind of places other than there are you going to be appearing at? All over Big the country. Big stadiums of, or uh, small clubs or what? Some small places and some large. Some, a lot of outdoor theaters will probably play the fair circuit, uh -huh. which I enjoy that a lot. Yeah. And uh, so we'll probably do some coliseums, auditoriums, and that sort of now, thing. Now, that must be fun and also really grinding to be in a bus on the road, although you're going to do it in a limited fashion. But that's, that's still got to be a lot of fun, doesn't it? It's fun, I, and I enjoy it. So I'm hoping to do it. I mean, it's work, too. Yeah. But it's what I do for a living. Sure. And, and I need the money. It's amazing how much it costs to make a person look so cheap. <laughs> 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 uh.
I've used it before, but it's still true. No, oh, but you don't you don't think uh, that this looks uh, cheap? No, do this you? is not cheap. It no. may look it, but it's no. No, but I don't think it does. It looks oh, okay. yeah. I mean, it's a bit oh, interesting, I, different, I but I wouldn't say cheap. <laughs> but, but you're you are you're a you're a, an attractive woman. Well, thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. We have to do a uh, commercial. All right, we'll we'll be back here with uh, Dolly Parton. You're in uh, this film. Uh, I was stunned to hear the cast of this film. Steel Magnolias is finished, correct? Yeah, we finished it in August. Mm -hmm. And be released uh, shortly? In the fall. In the fall. Yeah, they're having to hold off because of the Broadway show is still running. Oh, I see. Yeah. Steel Magnolias. Steel Magnolias. You? Shirley MacLaine, your Shirley friend. Shirley MacLaine. Right. No, no. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I just had to do How it. did you get along with Shirley? Actually, I got along fine. I told her right up front that I didn't believe in reincarnation. Right. I didn't believe in it when I lived before. Mm -hmm. So uh, she didn't. Did you find yourself going home at the end of the day saying out loud, wow, she's goofy? <laughs> along good with all the ladies we not only had uh, she had a great part in the movie she really added mm -hmm. a great deal to it she's she's fun and we had olympia dukakis mm -hmm. we had daryl hannah wow. and sally field um and julia roberts yeah. sam shepherd played my husband tom scarrett played sally field's husband so it's really a big cast this I is just, a big deal yeah it yeah. is and uh, have you seen any of it yet i have seen the movie put together mm -hmm. and i thought it was a very good movie huh. and i'm real proud to be part i played a hairdresser i own the local beauty yeah. shop so it's so fitting for me because if i hadn't gotten show business i probably would have been a beautician how many how many films have you been in Three. Three. Did you ever think when, when your career was falling into place that uh, you would end up being a movie star? I, I guess... Well, I was open for it. Open I didn't for go, it? I didn't go looking for it, but I figured if my career went the way I'd planned that it would, it would eventually lead mm -hmm. me into that, into that world. I, I honestly can say that it's very slow. I don't enjoy doing the movies as much as I enjoy other parts of my career because it's so slow. Yeah. But the end, the end results are always good. I'm always proud of, of the stuff. And, sure. and I learn a lot and meet a lot of people. But Do you remember the, uh, the first time you came to New York City? <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, the very first time I, I was on my senior trip in 64, we came mm -hmm. to the World's Fair. But we senior in high school from, mm -hmm. from where? From Sevier County High School. Sevier County High School. Yeah. <laughs> Are you from Sevier County? Uh, no. High school graduates. <laughs> uh. But there was a So you, you came up on it with a busload of kids from uh, Tennessee. Uh huh. But then I came back later, the very first time. I was so fascinated with the city then that. So when I moved to Nashville in 1966, and I had some money, a little bit of money to come up here, my girlfriend Judy and I, we grew up together. How is Judy, by the way? Judy's good. She's backstage. Yeah, I got a card from her last. I guess around the holidays. Oh, did you? Yeah. You yeah. know Judy. You yeah. tried to get her on camera last time. I guess time. we have. But anyway, so I had a... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who Judy is. Yeah, but Judy's my best friend. Judy is yeah, your best friend. Well, that's I what know. I was saying. Sure. Judy's the girl <laughs> that came. We talked about her last time. Yeah. And uh, she came to New York with me. Mm -hmm. And we got caught down on 42nd Avenue. Uh, we didn't know where to go. <laughs> and so we were well. running. We didn't know. I'm serious. We, we wound up there. This is the truth. And we didn't know that people thought we were prostitutes. And they run in pairs because we looked real cheap. And no, we did. You know, we had all the you know, country girls and we looked like we could be trying to make some money or something. <laughs> and so this guy started trying to put the makeup. This scared us to death. Yeah. And uh, at that time, I was carrying a gun, which this story got all over the, the place. This was way back then. I, well, country girls. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's city. go it's back true. just one second. You're dressed sort of like this. Well, no, no. I, was, yeah. I know. That's what I you're, said. I looked the part. You're on 42nd Street, and you're carrying a gun. Well, I had to, you know, because when I was coming to the big city for the first time, and, you know, at that time, it was not, the guns were not as big a deal, and, you know, being from the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> And yeah, well, I had a for gun for whatever reason. No, no, I was uh, looking to protect myself from them. It was mostly like for for the room at night and all that. So well, anyhow, where the hell were you staying? <laughs> well, we stayed at a place called the Americana Hotel back then. Oh yeah, we yeah, had one, yeah, one room. But anyway, this you stay guy there, kept... bring some kind of rifle, grenade. <laughs> <laughs> this guy kept coming on to us and. Uh, and he kept just cut. He was determined he was going to have me, and I was determined <laughs> that he wasn't. So he and you're like 18, 19? Yeah, about 19. And I just pushed him against the wall and took out my gun. And I told him, I said, you touch me again, I'm going to change you from a rooster to a hen. Uh, you know, like the movie, a nine to five. Wow. 
But anyway, then this guy recognized me. Are you sure this wasn't an episode of Cagney and Lacey? No, well, well, this is honest truth. And I wasn't going to tell this story, but your guy backstage had read this a long time ago, and he thought it might be fun. But I really came to promote my album, White Limousine. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's... <laughs> Sure. I better well, get out of this. I, I don't have a gun now, no, though. Okay. I don't have a gun, so don't nobody write me well, no that, letters. That's a great story, and you're lucky you came through that uh, un unscathed. Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't have shot him, but I would have shot at the ground, and it flew, I guess. I well, was Judy carrying heat, too? Judy laughed at me. See, <laughs> Judy, no, Judy was laughing because she'd never seen me so mad, and she'd never mm -hmm. seen me so upset, and she never thought it was funny. Never seen you kill a guy, either, I guess. I wasn't going to kill him. I just wanted to, him to leave me alone. Uh, good to see you. Yeah. Thank good you very much for you, being David. here, and uh, good luck, you. and uh, anytime, drop by. I will. Dolly Parton. Right. We'll be right back.